Hey guys, good afternoon. Am I audible? Yes, Dinesh. Good afternoon. So, can I confirm also? My screen is visible? Yes, yes, Dinesh. Right. Guys, do you remember what we have covered in the previous session? Guys, what we are covering in the previous session? Do you remember what we are discussing earlier? There or no? Hello. Uh, Dinesh, last class. This is like Saturday, Sunday. You were asking. No, Friday, Friday. Saturday, Sunday. You get a double. Sorry. என்னோ <laughs> 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 Custom policy will create for customer policy. For policy, create for it, you should not mind up or no. Attach for correct. Sir, we should end up with another. Sir, we Access key and secret key. Did you remember? Through the CLI. Ah, yes, yes. Okay, no problem. So, in your park, I will again go to the waste. Direct, I can go for my topic today. Guys. Hmm. I am asking one question. Tell me, what are the four elements in IAM? Four elements. Yes. What are the four elements in your IAM? Uh, yeah, roles, groups, policies. And? I am user. Exactly. So we have a user, a roles, and groups, and policy. Right. User number already part of, correct? User. Already we have created the user. I am user. Is that right? And policy also we already know. Correct? Now, I am group already I have given. What is I am group actually? Why do we need to go for I am group? What is the reason? What is the purpose of I am group? Bulk of users certain policies are same. Exactly. It is the best practice, right? The industry always follows. So whenever if we have a group of users, Suppose I need to allocate some kind of a policy to this. Individually, I cannot concentrate, right? In that case, I can go for I am a group where I can put all the I am user under the
कैसे बोल संसारी के ऑडियो बनो हेलो यस सर मैं श्रीकांत जी ओके ओके सॉरी सॉरी लिसन लिसन सो लेट मी गो टू माय टॉपिक व्हिच इज कॉल्ड आई एम रोल्स आई एम रोल सो दिस इज द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू योर एडब्ल्यूएस फॉर सर validating the identity But if you go for authorization, validating the access, right? That's the difference between your authentication and the authorization. As I mentioned, we have four roles, right? We have one user role. We have one user role. Then we have your roles, roles, and then we have your groups. We have your groups. Then finally, we also have your one more. I am right. One more, like use role groups. What are the another one is policy. this is the four elements right i already told you if you go with the user and role it is focusing on authentication it is focusing on authentication but the group is it's the best practices right the best practices and policy it is for your authorization the giving the permission whether this user has the permission to access this particular resources for that we are going for policy right user nam already cover pannom group na demo kaatla but group pathi solli irukken policy also we have covered in the previous session now this is the time to understand what is role so if someone is asking what is role it is also deals with authentication only as like i am user it is also dealing with an authentication when i say authentication like validating the identity validating the identity validating the identity right now the question is what is the difference between what is the difference between i am user and i am a role that's the question if someone is asking what is the difference between i am user and i am role that's the question right generally ask what is the difference between i am user versus i am a role both is pertain to authentication right both we can deals with the authentication then what is the difference between this two remember i am user theoretically now tell you but later i will tell you practically i am role it's a credential right username and password did you remember when you log in as a i am user ninga enna panuvinga username and password kudupinga that credential is a static credential it won't change guys unless or until you change pandra varaikum and the credential vara poradhu kedaiyad it is a static credential and you are using this static credential it static credential uh, associated with it right in i am user whatever the credential is you are using it's a static credential and it is a long term access when we should go for this i am user whenever you are you need to access your resources in long term then what i am user but what is i am role see here the credential that you are using right, right? that's a that dynamic credential that's the dynamic credential so who will generate the static credential maybe the user right the customer they will generate the static credential even aws also has the capacity to generate this static credential but most of the cases what we basically do that mean they will generate this static credential but if you go with i am role the credential that we are using it's a dynamic credential right it will be generated programmatically it will be generated programmatically by aws not by you not by you this dynamic credential is generated by programmatically and it is not for short term access it's not for access, it's a short term access or uh, i can say uh, maybe a time bounded access time bounded access or you can say right a temporary access for temporary access you can go for i am role right 
இன்னும் கிளியரா புரியாது நம்ம ப்ராக்டிக்கலா பார்க்கும்போது புரியும் ஒரே ஒரு விஷயம் பண்ற ஆபச்சுக்கு ஐ எம் யூசர் நம்ம பயன்படுத்துற கடென்சியல் ஸ்டாட்டிக் கடென்சியல் நீங்க மாற்றாத வரைக்கும் அந்த கடென்சியல் ஒரே மாதிரிதான் இருக்கும் அகைன் நீங்க ஒரு ஒரு பர்சனுக்கு ஐ எம் யூசருக்கு சப்போஸ் இப் யூ ஆர் கோயிங் டு கிவ் சம் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் பர்மிஷன் ஆக்சஸ் கொடுக்க போறீங்க லாங் டேர்ம் ஆக்சஸா இருக்குன்னா யூ கேன் கோ ஃபார் ஐ எம் யூசர் ஷார்ட் டேர்ம் ஆக்சஸ் ஆயிருந்தா ஐ எம் ரோலுக்கு போகலாம் இதுதான் டிஃபரன்ஸ் பிட்வீன் யுவர் ஐ எம் யூசர் அண்ட் ஐ எம் ரோல் பட் இன்னும் டெக்னிக்கலா புரிஞ்சுக்கணும்னா நம்ம இன்னும் கொஞ்சம் இன்டெப்தா இதை பத்தி பார்க்கணும் நிறைய யூஸ் கேசஸ் பார்க்கணும் பட் ஆஸ் ஆஃப் நோ தேர் ஆர் டூ டிஃபரன்ஸ் யூ ஷட் ரிமெம்பர் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் டெம்பரரி ஆக்சஸ் பர்மனன்ட் ஆக்சஸ் Static credential, dynamic credential. Who is having the static credential? I am user. Who is having the dynamic credential? Which is I am role. Who is for temporary access? Which is for I am role. Long term access? Which is I am user. Either pati inno telivana. Purunji gerathik. Again, we need to explain more. Any question? Let's quickly confirm. Any question so far? கன்சிடர் <laughs> there is an administrator there is an admin guy in your company he has created he has created one i am user in your company there is an admin guy that guy created one i am user right and is already you know right it's for long term access it's for long term access and he has given the permission for this i am user he has attached some policy what is the policy like all about like s3 uh, full access he attached a policy called s3 full access so consider like p1 it is a policy which is attached policy attached ninga enna pandringa or admin enna pandraru or company la iam user one create pandraru and the policy attach pannita p1 is the policy s3 full access is the policy attach pannita oru vela sir additional permission and the user ku thevai padu vechupo same iam user right which is created by the admin guy he need some admin additional permission he need some additional permission but in the additional permission avarku or 2 hours tha theva padudhu vechupo in the permission irukkala or one instance run pannu so what is the permission right he wants to run the instance he need to run some instance appo na enna solla varen ivan instance run pandradhukaga short term or 2 hours matta avarku and access theva padudhu temporary access theva padudhu right only for 2 hours appo in the admin enna pannalam avaru permanent permission kudukka vendi avasiyam kedaadu i am user ku poite i am user ku poite enna panna vendi avasiyam kedaadu permanent ah innor policy attach panna vendi avasiyam kedaadu adukku badhil in the i am user irukkar la avarku role ah matta maatalam avaru urudi role role endru oru okay toppi mari vechukkom in the ipl la vilaiyadum bodhu ஆரஞ்ச் கேப் கொடுப்பாங்க ப்ளூ கேப் கொடுப்பாங்க நல்ல பேட்ஸ்மேன் அகைன் நல்ல பவுலர் அது மாதிரி பார்த்து கொடுப்பாங்கல்ல இந்த தொப்பி அந்த இடத்துல யாருக்கு வேணா இருக்கலாம் அசம்ஷன் அது பர்மனன்ட் எல்லாம் கிடையாது ஃபார் அன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் ஸ்கோர் ஷேவா கெடுத்திருக்காரு அவர் ஆரஞ்சு கேப் வச்சிருக்காரு ஆரஞ்ச் கேப் வச்சிருக்காரு திடீர்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா இன்னொருத்தாவது மாத்த வேண்டியதுதான் அதே மாதிரிதான் டெம்பரரியா ஒரு டூ ஹவர்ஸ் ஃபோர் ஹவர்ஸ்க்கு இந்த ஐஎம் யூசருக்கு நம்ம என்ன பண்ணலாம் வி கேன் வி கேன் அட்டாச் த ஐஎம் ரூல் சப்போஸ் ஒரு பாலிசி அட்டாச் பண்ணலாம் என்ன பாலிசி அட்டாச் பண்ணலாம் ஈஸி ரன் பண்ற பாலிசி அட்டாச் பண்ணலாம் இந்த ஐம் ரோலுக்கு இந்த ஐம் ரோல யாருக்கு அசைன் பண்ணலாம் இந்த ஐம் யூசருக்கு அசைன் பண்ணா என்ன நடக்கும் ஒன்லி ஃபார் டூ அவர்ஸ் யூனோ வாட் எவர் ஆப்ரேஷன் தட் யூ வாண்ட் டு டூ டாப் ஆஃப் திஸ் நாட் யூனோ லாங் டேர்ம் ஆக்சஸ் நீ எப்ப வேணா டைம் இருக்கோ யூஸ் பண்ணிக்க ஈஸி டூ ரன் பண்ணிக்க அப்படி கிடையாது ஒன்லி நெக்ஸ்ட் டூ அவர்ஸ்க்கு நீ என்ன பண்ணலாம் அந்த ஈஸி டூ இன்ஸ்டன்சஸ் இருக்கலாம் அதுக்கு நம்ம பண்றோம் டெம்பரரி பர்மிஷன் அட்டாச் பண்றோம் அதுக்காக வி ஆர் கோயிங் வித் வாட் ஐ எம் ஜோ ஐ காட் திஸ் பாயிண்ட் ஆக்சுவலி
ஒரு <laughs> ஒரு பர்டிகுலர் டைமுக்கு நம்ம என்ன பண்ண முடியும் அந்த ரிசோர்ஸஸ் பயன்படுத்திக்கலாம் அந்த ரிசோர்ஸ் ஆக்சஸ் பண்ண முடியும் அதுதான் டெம்பரரி ஆக்சஸ் நம்ம இன்னும் கிளியரா புரியுதுன்னா பிராக்டிகலா பார்த்தா மட்டும் முடியும் சப்போஸ் ஐ வில் கோ டு மை ஓகே ஒன் மினிட் right share my screen okay is there my screen is visible okay right let's go i will go with aws.amazon.com okay and click on sign in to control after that i am going to create a role guide you already know how to create the user now i'm going to create the roles left hand side can you see roles here yes click on this click on this after that now to create a role here you have a create role button right just click on this so no need to worry about this thing ipatik edume idha patti purinjikka vendi avasiyam illa let me if you want just click on this easy to yeah na in the easy to click padana later pesra ipa venda just click on easy to click on it and if you want to attach some policy you can attach it say suppose in the am role ku na enna pandren i will attach some policy all right as of now let me attach s3 read read access only read access i'm going to attach s3 read access that's it click on next then you can give the demo name also role name also demo ipon role ipon say this is 08032023 like that i have given some name demo role so demo role 08030023 that's it click on create a role done role got created now if i search this one yeah we have a role right demo ipon role 08032023 so which aws resources on top of the i created is it let me leave this one later i will tell you so i have just created one role see once you created your role just click on this and you can see something here guys which is called maximum session duration which is 1 hour so it means that whenever you create your role right you can see this one that role that role the permission that you attach which is called s3 full access sir s3 read access which is applicable only for an hour one hour this role you can assign to any resources you can assign to any resources upon the s3 read access irukka etra avaru mattum da only for an hour that's the purpose of iam role it's only for temporary access it is only for short term access temporary access are you getting my point so th- that's the reason i'm saying right your iam role it is it is a temporary access so only one hour suppose if you want to change this one you can click on edit and you can change it like 2 hour 4 hour 8 hour if you want to give any custom duration also you can give it so your role description what automatically we are getting allow easy to install to call aws resources on your behalf 
சப்போ இந்த EC2 இருக்குல்ல இன்னொரு சர்வீசஸ் எந்த சர்வீசஸ் S3 இந்த EC2 ஆல இந்த S3 சர்வீசஸ் எவ்வளவு நேரத்துக்கு தான் ஸ்பென் பண்ண முடியும் எவ்வளவு நேரத்துக்கு ஆக்சஸ் பண்ண முடியும் 1 hour தான் ஆக்சஸ் பண்ண முடியும் நான் ஆக்சஸ் பண்றதுக்காக இல்ல இந்த EC2 இந்த EC2 AWS சர்வீசஸ் தான் which is called S3 அது எவ்வளவு நேரம் ஸ்பென் பண்ண 1 hour सपोज இப்ப இ செலக்ட் 2 hours the 2 hour button தான் ஸ்பென் பண்ண முடியும் இட்ஸ் a temporary access right it's not a permanent access everyone clear with this i was idu varaikku sonnadhu puriyuma illa nariya paaka vendi irukku are you clear why i am calling temporary access right listen listen see suppose you are working in a company you are working in a company so there is a manager right there is a manager team manager and we have a development team and also we have a testing team qa team uh, consider like we have one developer and one tester under this manager we have a one developer and one tester and for this developer you know they have created uh, maybe they have created one im user the manager created im user admin guy and qa also they have created im user and they have attached the policy also they have attached a certain policy so for developer they have attached a policy called p1 and for tester they have attached the policy different policy may p2 policy they have attached consider like this now suppose your manager said right hey we have a deadline we have a deadline we need to complete our work uh, maybe in 4 days we need to complete our entire work like development and testing in 4 days and 3 days you know developer and tester they are working together with a different operations and all but what suddenly happened fourth day right fourth day fourth day the developer they have taken the leave uh, the tester tester has taken the leave qa took the leave took the leave but we have a deadline right we need to complete in 4 days but 3 day they, have, they were working together but fourth day suddenly you know this qa due to some reason due to some health problem you know he, he has taken the leave now my question is what manager will do he has to submit this task to the client this is the today today is the last date only the developer is working now tester is not doing the job and we don't have any more resources we don't have any other resources also maybe consider like we have one resources also you can consider anything no issues now what manager will do maybe he will ask the dev to perform the qa task exactly exactly you are correct uh, you are correct yuraj right so what manager will do manager will ask a developer the developer to work as a tester right in this case we don't have any option right maybe he will ask a developer hey can you complete this one because you are the developer right you know how to do the testing also so what you can do you can consider as a tester you can work as a tester now the question is he has to give the p2 permission right again developer already a one user and the developer we have to assign another user right maybe i am user can i able to create the account and attaching the policy is it a easy task because he already have an i am user account right now what the, uh, the what the client or manager will do he has to give the temporary access right he has to give the temporary access because only today he is going to work on for that he has to give the temporary access to this particular developer in order to complete the testing right so in order to give the temporary access will he go for i am user or i am role what do you think i am role exactly so this time the manager or the client they will assign the i am role to the developer right he will not assign the i am user he will not create one more i am user account and he will not attach the policy and all or otherwise if earlier he is using some i am user he will not attach the policy and all. right he will go for some temporary because two hour or four hour or only today is going to work on the testing part because here we have a session duration right it had a time it had a time limit so the credential will be valid for that much duration only it will not be valid after you know that duration so in this case most of the time you know in real time people will go for i am role 
for temporary access only certain amount of time i need to give the authentication to that particular guy yeah, they will go for i am good i'm not talking about i am uh, uh, policy i'm talking about i am good i'm not talking about the authorization i'm talking about authentication suppose let me take another use case also for you guys to make it clear i will take another use case suppose in a company there are a group of developers in a company there are group of developers they are working consider like we have a d1 and we have a d2 and we have a d3 d4 like that we have a many developers and for every de developer they have attached the policy because developer right they have attached the policy p1 got attached policy number 1 got attached right so now for this developer you know i am not good I, i have assigned some kind of task that needs to be completed within 4 hours or 6 hours i don't want to create an account at all for d1 i need to create an account d2 i need to create an account i am user account it is very difficult right individual i need to create an account individual i need to assign give the user even password then they will log in and i have to attach the permission and it is very difficult so in this case and all what you can do if all suppose consider like already they have the i am user also consider like everyone they have in the i am user the only thing is what they are expecting for completing that particular task for completing that particular task they need certain privileges only for 2 hours only for 4 hours not permanent access i'm talking about a temporary access then what you can guys can do you can attach or you can create an iam role along with some permission when i say permission policies and you can assign this iam role with a policy to that particular developers because you don't want to give the permanent access to them you are expecting the work should be completed within a fraction of hours or within a fraction of day in that case you not fraction of day also fraction of hours only in that case also you no need to go for an iam user you just create a iam role you can attach some policy and you can assign to the developer are you getting my point yes sir sir if i assign another role what will happen to the existing one you can assign as much as role that you want okay sir role aman again for your information role is not talking about the particular user role is talking about the particular resource service okay sir okay suppose why say um, i have a question like why we are using can you tell me why we are using a word uh, maybe a short term or a temporary name role why i am calling like this guys why we are using a word short term or temporary in your i am role guys why for temporary uh, access yes how we are calling it because it has what short duration water duration session duration right yes sir mm -hmm. it yes. has a session duration you all already seen right when i create an i am role that time we need to incorporate our session duration for that reason only we are calling it as a short term short term or temporary access not like 24 cross 7 right not permanent access only a short term interval that if you want to utilize that particular thing the particular resources that you want to maybe access then you can go for i am role i am role it's a kind of a cap guys simple you can consider like it's a cap right it's only for temporary not for permanent and one more point you have to remember the first one it's a temporary access the second one you have to remember i am role i am role is a secure is a secure way to provide provide access to your aws services remember the first one it is a temporary access the one more point you have to remember i am role is a secure way it's to provide the access to aws services why i am calling this one why i am calling like it's a secure way even i am user also is a secure way because where we have a user and password but why i am calling i am role is a secure way 
Yeah, yeah, it is an authentication mechanism, of course. In IAM user, we have a username and password. In IAM role, do you have any username and password? Yeah, let's discuss here. See, suppose if you go with the IAM user, if you go with the IAM user, identity and access management user, what basically you will do? You will configure AWS, right? You will configure AWS. Or you can configure IAM user, right? Configure AWS command, you will use it, you remember? So what for what we are why we are using this command AWS configure AWS configure so in order to log in as the IAM user right we will use the AWS configure what basically we will do we will pass the access key and secret key through the command line interface I hope you already remember access key and secret key that we need to pass it so when I pass access key and secret key did you remember where it will be stored it will be stored in the local machine right yes or no in the local machine in the local machine see when you open the users folder inside maybe some folder with dinesh and the forward slash there is a folder called dot aws forward slash there is a file file called credentials when i open this credential i can able to see access key and secret key see suppose let me show you i will open my terminal i will open my terminal see suppose let me type present working directory so i am inside the dinesh kumar only so what I can do, I can see cd slash dot aws and I'm typing, is there any folder? Yeah, we have a folder called credentials. Now if I open the credentials, how can I open the credentials? Cat credentials, credentials. When you press enter, can you see your access key and secret key? I can see, right, access ID and secret ID, secret key. See, if your credential will be compromised, it is not a secured way, right? I am showing like your, see my access key and secret key, this one. I'm showing to your guys. In the same way, if your access key and secret key, it is compromised means what will happen? Someone got hacked. Suppose if I linked this access key and maybe a secret key, what will happen? Everyone can be able to access my machine, right? Anyone can be able to access my service, right? Resources, right? Is it secured way? What do you think? Yes, sir. I am user. I have access key and secret key in my local machine. What do you think? Is it secure way? Of course, you know. But what the thing is AWS I am role is going to do? That's the question. But as per my understanding, our access key and secret key, it is available in my local machine. It has a fixed location. It has a fixed location where we have. Suppose if this access key and secret key got linked, what will happen? Anyone can able to log in, right? If you have a terminal, you can able to log in as an IAM user. You can able to log in as a IAM user and you can able to access my buckets. You can access my account. If whatever the policy that I have attached, yes, you can able to access it. Right. But who I am calling? Okay, that's fine. Who I am calling? I am role. Why I'm, I am role is secure then. Why I am role is secure. Why I am role is secure. Because here we have a session duration. Here we have a session duration. So who will who will generate the credential? AWS will generate the credential. Here it is not our responsibility to generate the credential. AWS will take care of the credential part. Here it will be automatically managed by this AWS credential or automatically managed by managed by your AWS. It is not you. I am user. You have to take care. But if you go with the I am role where you are having some session duration like one hour, two hour and four hour like that you have a session duration. Session duration. Then AWS will take care of those things. That's the reason it's called dynamic. It is not a static. You don't know what is the credential it is using. In industry, you know, in real-time company, in industry, remember, always, you know, we will get some email. We will get some email. Or whenever, if we get any access to particular resources, consider like Jira, or maybe Jenkins, or maybe Outlook, right? That's the term you will get in email. What is that? Credentials credential should be should be rotated should be rotated rotated time to time 
every one will get like this an email saying that a credential should be rotated time to time what is it means what does this mean what is the meaning of this particular line credential should be rotated time to time means what Yes, uh, for a certain period of time, pa password will get changed automatically. Exactly. A credential may be a directly refers to password, not username, password. What uh, the company will suggest, every employee, they have to change the password in a, a regular basis. Maybe possible, maybe 90 days only. Even, you know, some company, they given some outlook, you know, access to your employee. Right? What will happen? They will attach some policy also. What policy they will attach, right? Like uh, your credential should be changed 90 days once. Automatically after 90 days, you will get a pop-up saying that it will ask you to change the password. So did you see those kind of, face? do you have th that kind of experience in real time? When you log in as the Outlook after 90 days, it will ask you to change the password automatically. Mm. Yes, thanks. Yes. Right. In real time industry and the IT company, most of the time, you know, they will uh, suggest, suppose if you are not following, they will attach some kind of automatic policy with respect to your Outlook account or maybe some other account also. So after 90 days, you will get the pop-up saying that you can set some new password. Then only you can able to log into that particular application. Guys, remember, in case of your IAM role, in case of your IAM role, after a session duration, credential will be expired, guys. After a session duration, suppose one hour or two hours or 90 days, whatever you set, right? Your credentials will be expired. Credential will be expired. New credential will be generated by your AWS. So you don't know what is the credential being used at all. New credential will be generated. Will be generated by AWS. So remember, if you go with the IAM user versus IAM role, if someone is asking, this is your answer should be. The first one, IAM user is a static actually. It's a static. Why starting I'm calling? Initially, I will get some username and password. That's it. Or otherwise, if you are logging us through the CLI, you will get the access key and secret key. Anyone knows that username and password, that's it. It's completed. You guys, if you know my username and password, you can able to log in as I am user. If you know my access and key and password, the secret key, you can able to log in as I am user. That's the reason I'm calling it's a static. It's a long-term access. But if you go for your IAM role, it's a dynamic. Why I'm saying it's a dynamic? Because here, automatically, your credential will be generated. It is not your responsibility. Who will take care? AWS will take care. It is a short-term duration. Here, we have a term called session duration. Through that, you can have a temporary access, not a permanent access. So whenever if you are focusing on long-term access, go as a IAM user. But if you are focusing on short-term, then go as a IAM role. And remember, I am user. If someone is knowing your secret key and access key, they can able to log in, right? So definitely, I can call, right? It is not a secured way. I'm not saying like uh, any services, guys, any uh, maybe a role that you can take it, any any item that you can take it. It has its own pros and cons, right? It has one advantage and drawbacks. The only thing is, AWS is providing some kind of mechanism from there. What is your benefit? What is your requirement based on that? You have to check it. You have to check it. But when I compare to IAM user and IAM role, I am saying it is not that much secure as like your IAM role. That's what I mean, right? I am not saying IAM user is not a secure. I am just telling when compared to IAM role, IAM user is not secure. Because if someone is knowing access key and secret key, that is a problem. But if we go as a IAM role, then obviously here you are not having any username and password under. You don't have any term like this. You don't have any term like this. So everyone clear so far? Yes, I need your answer. Any questions so far? Or anything do you want me to repeat? Fine.
suppose suppose uh, take some aws service suppose take an aws service like uh, maybe take ec2 ec2 like wants to wants to interact with interact with s3 service s3 service right i want to do this one do this demo maybe both i will try with the im user also i will try with the im user i will try with both right i want to do i want to create a service ec2 service or ec2 instance compute service from your aws cloud and i am going to interact with this s3 service so let me take some demo so the first step i am going to launch ec2 the first step i am going to launch ec2 the second one second step i am going to connect this ec2 after connecting this one third step i am going to list all s3 buckets this is the question this is the right i am going to launch ec2 instance and connect ec2 and list all s3 bucket this is the step that i am going to work now right listen before that okay right so click on ec2 and click on this right now i will create an ec2 instance guys already one instance is running let me terminate this one i will terminate and i will create a new instance say this is server and i am selecting the linux machine t2 micro for this demo i will proceed with totally key pair because anyway i am going to use the ec2 connect feature only so create a security group allow ssh it is an click on launch instance now come below and click on view all instances so it is pending let me wait let me wait So the sticking time will see. Okay. Okay. The service the server is running now. The Linux machine is running now. So what I will do now, I will connect this EC2 instance. Click on connect, and we'll go with the instance connect feature itself. Click on this connect. It is enough actually. Once it is connected, now the time to you know for the second point I have given, I need to list all the S3 bucket right. I need to list all the bucket. How can I list all the bucket? Did you remember guys? What is the AWS command that I have to use in order to list all the bucket, S3 bucket? Remember on? LS. Yeah, no, LS is the Linux command. Uh, I'm talking about AWS command. AWS, remember. AWS, S3 LS. AWS, okay. S3 LS. So when you press enter, I am seeing unable to locate credential. You can configure credential by running AWS configure. Because I have to configure the credential, right? Yes or no? So, on top of the EC2, what I will do, I will configure AWS configure, press enter. Now it will ask you the access key. Where can I get the access key? For that, you need the IAM user account, right? So, let me go to this IAM and I will create. I am user, but before that, guys, remember 
suppose okay listen suppose i will go to this user and i will add the user now and i will create the user demo iphone user iphone say this is 8032023 like that i have given and provide user access i want to create an iam user and a custom password i am giving and admin 123 something i am giving here and i don't want to generate this and click on next and i'm going to attach some policy also click on this and what i will do i will give here s3 read access so click on this then after this this is so demo iphone user iphone 0803 and this one and this one and i can give the custom password i can uncheck this one and i am giving some password here and after that clicking on next and i am going to attach some policy so which is s3 read access i'm going to give it then come below and let me attach this and click on next then after that come below and click on create user that's it so i have created an user now so but before that i made one uh, thing access key i have to generate right so let me go here and click on security credential and here <clears throat> here you can create the access key by creating an access key and you can give the command line interface also come below and i understand this terminology click on next and any name you can give it say access key like that i have given some name click on create access key so now see you can see the access key and password so we have given the access key and password right let me copy this and now i can go here it will ask you what is the access key i can paste it press enter and then i am taking the password also here paste it press enter it will give you the region also so let me select the north virginia region which is us iphone east iphone 1 so yes iphone east iphone iphone press enter and i need the json format so press enter now can i check aws s3 ls press enter now see the, these are the four bucket that i have created right on s3 these are the four bucket i have created that i can able to see like bucket iphone 27 february demo iphone 2 iphone 23 like there whatever the bu bucket that i have created so i can because i already given the read access to the particular iam user so this is i have done with help of i am user on top of the ec2 i am linking my ec2 with the s3 because ec2 wants to access the s3 bucket for that on top of the ec2 what i have done i have given the read access are you getting my point so far guys can you confirm Yes, I give you an answer. At least respond. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So it is done with the help of your IAM user. Now, what I will do? Now I will do this step with the help of IAM role. Instead of IAM user, you know, in IAM user, what's your drawback? I have to configure the credential like username, access key, and secret key. You guys also seeing my secret key, access key. if sometime it is revealed suppose even i am not sharing but in some cases maybe someone hacked my laptop and if i reveal that what what will happen anyone can able to access my machine right my resources whatever the policy it is attached to my i am user that's the problem now i will go to my previous step so what basically i will do see suppose cd dot aws when you press enter and i if i type ls command i can see the credential right here and i will open the credential also cd credentials 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 press enter no it's a folder i think so cat credentials press enter i can see the access key and secret key access key and secret key right now i 
I will go to the maybe I will try this with the IAM rule. For that, I'm just deleting this one. I'm just going to revert all my changes. So for that, so what are the two folders available? One is config and the credential, right? One is config and credential. Let me delete this one. How can I remove RM space config? It's the command we have to use it. Linux command. When you press enter, RM space credentials. RM space credentials. Press enter. Now, if I type ls command, I don't have any folder. And I will go back with the help of cd space dot dot. I will go back. If I type ls here, present working directory, and we have easy to hyphen user. Easy to hyphen user. Let me delete this dot here with the help of ls space hyphen l. See, we have what happened? cd dot aws. Yes. Let me remove this one. CD space dot dot. I will remove with the help of RM space iPhone R. What is the command? Dot AWS. This I want to delete. Yes. It is deleted now. Now LS space iPhone LA. Uh, we don't have any dot AWS file under. Everything I got, it got deleted. Now I will configure as the IAM role. Instead of IAM user, I will go for IAM role. So let me go to here. And is that already have a IAM role or I need to create? Let me check. Go to IAM. Okay. And this time I can go to the roles. And already have a role, right? Demo iPhone role. This is the role I already have. Okay. Demo iPhone role. 8-3-2023. Okay, fine. Now let me go to my EC2. And click on EC2. And this EC2 wants to interact with this uh, IAM role, right? For that, let me click on this. Can you see something called actions here? Click on this actions. And we have security in that modify IAM role. Click on this. One second, I will repeat. Remember? So click on this and click on actions, security, modify IAM role. Now you have to select the IAM role. There are different IAM roles. I go with this one. Click on update IAM role. Now for this instance, I have attached IAM role guys. Now let me go to my instance now once again. Let me go to my instance now. And now I will try. What I need to try? Let me try. I can be able to use that service or not. AWS. AWS. S3. LS AWS S3 LS. When you press enter, AWS S3 LS. When you press enter. Now, can you see, I can be able to see the bucket also, right? Now, I'm not revealing my credentials. No one knows my credential. Even I don't know my credential. Just I have assigned the IAM role, that's it. Just I have attached IAM role to the EC2 instance. Automatically, it will generate some kind of dynamic credential. You don't know what is my credential. I also don't know. Right? So, that's the powerful, you know. Of course, you know, next one hour or two hour only, it's going to active. Right? Whatever the session duration that I'm assigning. So if I even type right cd space dot aws, I will get an error only because there is no dot aws directory also here. No one can be able to hack my data. Are you getting my point, guys? Yes, sir. Whether you guys understood or not. Why guys you are not answering? Getting bored. Or it is difficult to understand. Or otherwise I am not explaining the concept clearly. Tell me anything we can do. Aman, Kritika, Saran, Nitesh, Yuraj. It, it's fine, Dinesh. Okay. It's clear. Okay. Others? Why you guys are not answering? 
Okay. Find it. See, I will give you one more use case also for your real time point of view. Listen, suppose if you are working in a company, maybe XYZ company, there are 60 employees are there, right? Consider like 60 employees, they are working in that particular company. And you are working with some cloud project. Consider like you are working with some cloud project. And uh, the company, they have given some email ID and password and all for you guys, right? Definitely they will give you the user ID and password, email ID and password. So, right, daily basis you have to access the AWS cloud, right? Right. One way, you know, what admin can do, admin create a 60 IM user, they can attach the policy. That's the one way. Right? We can create the IM user for 60 employee and we can able to attach the policy. The company they can, the employee can able to access, right, as an IM user. But company won't do this guys for temporary access and all. For permanent access, they will do like this. But for temporary access, the particular resources that want, that you guys want to use it temporarily for two days or three days, or they have assigned some certification and all, right? They will give you some a certification. You have to compete within a day. You have to compete within a two day. Even in the interview also, some kind we will get the assessment that expire will be one or two days. So that case, what the company will do? They will definitely go for hot IM user. They will go for IM role for temporary access. There are two things you have to remember. One is for temporary access, suppose one services, it is going to interact with another services. There is an interaction between the two or three services. The company never go for I am user, they will go for I am role. They will go for I am role. They want to go for I am user. Because, because one service information, they don't want to reveal to the another service. Another service. This thing you have to remember. See, in general, you know that industry always prefer to use AWS IAM role over the IAM user for a few reasons. The one reason, it's a security. Because IAM role always provides a temporary credential that are automatically rotated. You no need to worry. Then, you know, the, it will reduce the risk, you know, for, of long-lived access key. That could be compromised, right? If you go for IAM user, where you are using the long life credentials and all, that will be compromised. But if we go for IAM role, you are getting only a temporary access, the credentials also will be rotated automatically by AWS. And suppose it is very auditing also, guys. Sometimes, you know, uh, very easy to audit since they are associated with an AWS business or not with an individual user. They are not assigning the IAM role for an individual user. It is related to the is the resources that you are accessing. Yes, the resources that you are accessing for temporary. So this allows, you know, more, more kind of, you know, logging and auditing of your AWS resource usage, how much resources that we have utilized. Suppose if you want to track individually, we have some other service available in the AWS, which is called Cloud Trial. Cloud Trial is one another service which is available in your AWS using that you can able to track individual usages and all. So, any question? Any question? Right, guys. If you don't have any question, that's it. Actually, uh, I will. I need to tell only one actually assignment. I need to give it for you guys. So I want everyone should complete this one, please. This is your entire point of view. It will be very good, guys, if you know how to follow this one. See, this is the two URL I have. I have given the step-by-step -step procedure. You can refer it, guys. And you can do the hands-on. Without hands-on, whatever that I am covering, it is waste, right? See, there are six parts they have given. Create a two customer manager IAM policy, create a poor AWS IAM user, create one AWS IAM group, create two AWS AM. So and they have given step by step procedure also. The pictorial representation they have given. Everything is step by step. You guys can go through this step and you can complete this task. If you complete, it is very easy, guys. You will understand everything what I am covering. 
and also I will share you this URL also. This is the now I have given some other demo right with respect to EC2 launching with here we have this one launch EC2 instance with tag and assign IAM role for EC2 instance and you can test it. So go through these steps. I will send you in the chat box. And if possible, you can put it in the group also, the WhatsApp group. I will share you, share you as well. Right. So try to complete this task. They are already given the step-by-step -step procedure. You just need to export. That's it. So today I have completed this IAM. Tomorrow we'll go for another AWS service. Fine, guys. We'll see tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.